Hello, wonderful people. What's good? What's Gucci? What's the vibe? What's the energy, right? My name is Rose Warrior. I am your messenger from Holy Spirit, from the ancestors of the highest white light, as well as the angelic messenger here, using my vessel to give you the insight, the knowledge, the wisdom, the detail, and the accurate information that is due to you here, because what you are seeking is seeking you. This is the way that the, the laws of the universe just work. So if you're seeking the truth here, if you want things unsugarcoated, you want things just plain as day as they are, you want Holy Spirit's messages the way that they're meant to be delivered, you found the right place. Holy Spirit, ancestors of the highest white light, please safely guide, guard, and protect my vessel as I read for the entire collective, all signs here, divine masculine and divine feminine. Ashe. And so we may begin. So I did try to go live earlier, and it was a horrible mess because I am recovering, apparently, from some sort of sickness here that dealt with my chest here, and I feel like I got it from working out at a very, you know, non-organized gym that doesn't really always clean their equipment here so i may have picked up something but i am feeling better and i do want to push through this energy and make sure that i get this message out because it's so good so let's start so what i was picking up on is a priestess or a priest remember you can switch these roles the way that you need to here and you can switch the energies depending on your situation by switch i mean i could be speaking priestess but i could be speaking to a masculine or a male or someone who identifies as a priest or high priest here so that's an example with this priestess energy you are rising in knowledge you are rising in esoteric information and you are starting to understand that you are more than a healer you are more than a thinker you are more than a believer you are a manifester a grand manifester someone who has an angelic presence and someone who has many angelic energies always and constantly surrounding you it says how are you being called to step up and lead because you are protected to do so i am seeing two lions here something about leo so you could be a leo sun moon or rising or you could be a leo a libra a capricorn a pisces or scorpio here is what i'm picking up on this is intuitive information so with this priestess energy you're being called to step up and heal others using your testimony using your hands using your music using your gifts even if you play professional sports two three four on the clock here i'm going to write that down something about taking the and the next step and in the initiative here in order to start seeing your manifestations you have to meet god halfway right so how are you being called to step up is what is being asked of you this is what the top of the deck oracle energy is and trust me these messages are accurate because there's a lot in this deck here so for these specific messages to come out this is for whoever is finding them at this time Remember to take only what resonates with you. If this whole message resonates, hit that like button. Or if something resonated here that helped you, you can comment below. But just take what's yours here, okay? Because this is for everyone. So you're being asked to ground yourself at this time. So we have grounded. Or you could already be in a grounded phase. So you could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. I picked up on Capricorn, but now we could be picking up on Taurus and Virgo energy as well. Pisces is also a very grounded sign too it's a spiritually grounded sign so many of the most evolved beings on earth are regular folks living with joy dignity and courage so spirit says if things don't feel like they're fun or liberating this is because there's a time and a period where sometimes you're supposed to be in solitude and quietness here or silence so you can really hear the messages from the cosmos so you can really hear the messages from your guides because i see two birds here one is on top of the head here meaning the head of this animal here so i'm also picking up on butterflies so you are going through a transformation while you're grounding yourself you're being asked to step up and lead but before you take the next initiative here spirit wants to give you information and download information into your mind your body and your soul so you can go ahead and believe in what you do next because you have to believe in the steps you're taking otherwise you're taking hollow chunks out of the cake here right it's like you see a cake you slice into it but there's nothing inside you don't want to seem like you have it all together you don't want to fake it till you make it in that way what you want to do is really believe that everything that's being grounded down into your experience is something that you trust and know very well but you have to sit with that energy for a second that's what i'm getting with grounded and i'm also picking up on an aquarius energy as well because butterflies give me aquarius energy and air sign energy here so you could be seeing butterflies as a sign that you are definitely going through a transformation we have 
divine abundance coming on its way to you. So abundance can look like new friendships, soul tribe, partnerships, a new job, a new career, or a redirection in your job or your career here. In order for you, maybe you don't see in the long term it's going to be successful, but it's definitely coming your way. You are meant to have divine abundance and success here. Collective. It says you were born to align with love's will. Follow the Tao, which is the universal cadence, the universal rhythm, right? And it says, and serve something beyond the ego. Learn to be abundance, not chase it. Exactly as you're grounding yourself at this time, this divine abundance is coming in and it's already within your aura. It's already within your spirit here, but you're learning how to bring abundance out within. We have all the elements we need here for change. It is just by believing and channeling our thoughts and our actions to align. I've been saying this a lot lately. So we are being called to step up here. You're being called to reach out to others. 555 five, five on the clock here, as well as we saw 234. We literally just talked about change and we have change here as we saw 555. Five, five. Spirit is definitely coming through with all the symbolism here. So it says you were born to align with love's will collective. You were born for this and you're going through a massive change. You may be going through an awakening of the mind, body or the spirit or all of the above here. It says when the ego finally sees the utter madness of trying to control everything, you come to a sacred crossroads in your own evolution. So you're giving up on what no longer serves you and you're taking what you have learned and you're taking the strength that you've always had and you're amplifying and you're putting some spice, some sugar on top of it. But I heard, although you're adding spice and sugar, you're not sugar coating. What you're doing is you're adding more flavor here to make sure that as you go through this change, you're agile, you're able, you're aware to your surroundings here because we do have the tiger here showing up, a very rare animal as well. So you're a rarity. You're something that doesn't come, but a few generations in between do energies like you show up. And you're here to help humanity in some way, shape, or form because it says, Akasha, your guidance is divinely appointed. You are being divinely guided here. Akasha means that you step into realms here when you meditate, when you sleep. Some of you can just do this while your eyes are open. I know that that's one of my gifts is I daydream with my eyes open. I'm able to see visions here. Like right now, I could be reading for you and I could be seeing a whole other vision happen at the same time. Maybe you have this type of ability or this ability lies within us all. I like to say this and I'm feeling that I should say this now. We all have psychic abilities, but it does depend on your lineage. It depends on where you're appointed to, where you're directed to, and what spirit really needs from you. Those specific psychic abilities will differ from other people because all of our mission has a different style. However, we all are one and there's one mission here. Raise the vibration and the consciousness of this world, of this realm that we chose to incarnate into. You're being divinely guided at this time. Whoever I'm speaking to here, you're highly spiritual and very connected here. I'm tapped in and I can feel your energy. You're going through an energetic clearing. Something about this energy here is bringing me the energy of the great Kali, right? This is a, this is a goddess here who manifested and in some essence provided such strength here that this goddess had to be tamed and we have to learn how to tame the inner Kali within us, right? And when I say this, I mean, and start do your own research here if you don't know what I'm talking about. But this goddess here is the goddess of war, destruction, and the ability to clear negative energy. That's, that's the point. Sometimes we enter battles here, we enter spiritual warfare, and we don't want to hurt anyone. We don't want to do anything wrong, really. We just want to spread light. But sometimes we enter in a stage, in a presence, in a time and space here, 9-11, and we're protected by Archangel Michael because 9-11 gives me Archangel Michael energy here, numerologically. So sometimes we enter this space where we are attacked without even trying. We have a target on our back because of the light. This is why God gives you the warrior and mentality, the warrior strength. And this is why God is giving you an energetic clearing. And, and I'm getting tame the inner beast. There's nothing wrong with you being aggressive, with you being strong, with you being able to take initiative. I'm getting emperor energy, empress energy. You're able to really call the shots here and make moves and take the necessary steps and you can see things shift. And you're not a bad person for this, but spirit says, 
you can be a beast but own that and tame that beast here i'm getting the strength card in my mind so the number eight could be significant we also had 10 minutes on the duration clock show up as i said that something about 10 something about the number eight so you're going through cycles closing and new cycles beginning here through this energetic clearing that's what number 10 means and number eight also means that financial abundance is linked to your success and to the every move that you make to heal it says during crises the holy one herself may be emptying you of fear and attachments preparing you to receive her luminous plan what i'm getting here is more butterflies and there is an energetic clearing of your heart at this time you're going through a massive change something super 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 massive going on Archangel Gabriel is here to let you know that you do have, you could be seeing 444, and I saw that at 1044 on the duration clock. So something about 44. You could be seeing 544, 144, 344. Lots of numbers with 44 at the end. This is Archangel Protection, and also when they're trying to connect to you and let you know you are on the right path, but to keep focused and to keep yourself steadfast into what the mission really is here and what you're really here embarking on it for so it says messenger of creativity and hope so you are asked at this time to maintain the hope maintain the faith because it is taking you somewhere and this change is occurring we have opportunity knocks go for it opportunity is coming here claim it if you know opportunity is yours it says opportunity knocks go for it it literally says go for it. this is a yes card here let's go ahead and get started with your tarot spreads <clears throat> awesome energy At the bottom of the deck we have lemuria you could be in close contact with ancestors who are from lemuria so you could be in dna or spiritual dna if you'd like to see it that way from Lemuria, it says creating heaven on earth, it's happening. We're definitely tapping into higher vibrational fifth dimensional energies now during this reading. Yep, so I have a priestess here. We had the priestess card show up and now we have high priestess. Two different priestess cards showing up here. I'm speaking to people who are highly divine, highly appointed by source, mother, father, God here. You're highly appointed to take position, take leadership, take heed to enter this new path here we have king of cups showing up collective pisces cancer scorpio energy but this is a healer an emotionally intelligent divine masculine remember this is a collective message for all so take what's yours flip-flop the roles or the situation according to maybe i'm reading for the opposite person but you find more resonance with that role that's because that's your role here in this big collective message if you want a personal reading hit me below for that and i'd love to get your personal reading squared away okay so something about this healing or this healer here is they know how to speak and they know how to take action so you know how to take action whoever this king of cups is i'm getting that it's one of you here we have Leo Sagittarius Aries here with the Eight of Wands. It speaks of a communication or a fast moving process. So you could be moving forward here in this process of emotionally developing your intelligence because you've been through a lot is what I'm getting. You're very connected to the sea and you're very connected to water. Definitely connected to the sea and connected to water. So during Aries season, you may have started something brand new here because this is Aries with the Fool here showing up number zero something's changing within your reality at this time exactly we got the star card now showing up so we got a ma another major arcana at the bottom of the deck this is number 17 and it breaks down to an eight we were talking about tens and eights here a cycle is closing and a new one is beginning where you're appointed by the entire world around you right we all have our own little universes going on here this is how god is experiencing itself through us here and our own free will. Yes, we have that free will, but we are constantly being guided with synchronicities and symbolism. And the stars here, the cosmos are always guiding us to heal because as we heal, we set others free around us without even realizing. So whoever I'm speaking to, you are the star and you are the light. I'm hearing you will shine on and it will not be demolished. So this is amazing energy. We got King of Cups here. We've got the Eight of Wands and we've got the Fool here with Aries energy. You're going on a brand new beginning. And this is why that opportunity knocks was coming out here. You could be a Capricorn here who I'm speaking to an Aries, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio for sure, resonating with this message heavily. Eight of Wands here, Spirit. 
Yeah, I saw Two of Pentacles wanted to come out earlier and it came out again now. So we got Two of Pentacles and we also got Four of Cups here. Bottom of the deck here, we got Three of Pentacles. So you're building something. There's some sort of new contract that's coming in here, a soul contract that's created. Yes, this is why something had to end here. The Death card and Rebirth. This is 13 here. This is Scorpio energy. So you definitely could be a Scorpio here. I'm going to keep that energy at the top of the deck flipped over here so I can go ahead and channel this energy. You are going through a massive awakening, a massive change. This change has happened within. Now you're going to see it happen in your outer experience here with your material realm, your finances and your successes, as well as your ambitions here that you are embarking on, your endeavors that you really want to set out and achieve. You're going to achieve them, but it's going to allow and it's going to consist of you letting go of old paradigms, old ways of being, old friends, old friendships, old connections. One, five, five, five on the clock here. You can make this up. You are the one going through the changes with the mind, body, and spirit. Anything old, it's not for you anymore. You're, me you're being made anew again, collective. King of Cups was clarified by the devil here. So this is an emotionally intelligent person, whoever I'm speaking to, this is you. And I'm speaking to someone who's breaking some sort of bondage with a relationship or a friend, or there is some sort of toxicity or an obsession or addiction. I know it's a lot here, but this is a collective reading that you could be breaking. You're breaking some sort of addiction, bondage, or some spiritual entity had itself attached to you. And you're breaking it here because you're emotionally aware and you're spiritually aware. And because you're healing, you're now seeing what has been literally holding you back here. With this Eight of Wands energy and this Two of Pentacles energy, you are going to be juggling between two financial decisions or two decisions where you actually are going to earn a lot of money. I'm picking up on someone who's going to earn a lot of money in the next few weeks here. With this Two of Pentacles, this is Capricorn energy, you could find yourself manifesting things way quicker than you thought you could have before. So now you're going to be juggling your manifestations, which is why you got to be careful what you wish for because you collective, you get it. You literally get what you wish for, so you have to be very articulate, and I'm getting the message to tell you, be very descriptive on what you want to manifest. When you write things down, this is how I manifest, one of the ways. I write everything that I want in descriptive format. I make sure it's very, very appointed to the universe, to God, to whoever's collecting this information through my writing. I make sure that it's written with belief. When I'm writing it down, I envision from the place that I already have it, not that I don't. Because when you speak from a place and wish and dream from a place that you already are there, that's because you know it's already yours. You only have that desire and it's placed upon you for a reason because you deserve it. So know that it's already yours. It's a matter of aligning with what God wants for you while you get there. And if you don't get it, it's because you're getting something even better. 1808 on the clock here. Something is being made anew within you in your finances as well as your karmic cycles you're breaking. That's what 1808 is telling me. So with this full card here, you could be a little bit stuck on the past here, but this is what I'm speaking of here. You're energetically clearing this past energy so spirit can bring something in new. You literally see spirit from the clouds here dropping in something new towards you. Aries, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, Capricorn energy here. Heavy on the Scorpio, heavy on the Capricorn energy, heavy on the Aries. Let's pull from another spread here. I'm going to also be reading for Sagittarius and Aquarius today. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you, if <laughs> I almost said the F word, if you F with this reading, right? <laughs> if you mess with me and you feel like this is a vibe here, subscribe. <clears throat> As y'all notice, I'm really trying to watch my words because I just feel like we can manifest so easily now. I don't want to say nothing too heavy. I'd rather speak love. I'd rather speak light. Y'all know I'm a Capricorn stellium. For some of you who don't, now you do. So I don't mind, you know, cussing somebody out. But that's not the vibration I'm in anymore. And I'm being guided to be honest with you because... Who wants to just always be emotionally reactive when you grow up and you learn that you don't even have to respond? That means when you don't respond and you don't react, you don't even make an energetic cord or connection with that situation or person. And you can leave free. So I choose freedom. <laughs> so I could be have guided to tell some of y'all that for a reason here. What do we have, spirit? 
Only what you have, Spirit. So we have Nine of Cups here showing up for the King of Cups and the Devil here. We had two cards show up, but I'll, I'll read the second card and then I'll just keep this one. So this Nine of Cups is here to clarify King of Cups and the Devil. Because you are using your emotional intelligence and your healing powers, you could be a, a Reiki healer. You could also be a tarot reader. I'm feeling an influx of energy at this time, 2022 on the clock. Definitely being made anew again. So you can go ahead and connect in a better way with yourself. And then through that, the world around you, you're connected to everything. So nine of cups here shows me that because you're using that intelligence, because you're breaking an addiction, a bondage or an entity that's been attached to you, you're learning how to heal yourself and therefore banish all of these entities and negative energies. You're bringing in wish fulfillment. Nine of cups is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, same energy as the king of cups here. So you're bringing in something and grounding in a brand new wish being fulfilled for you. You could be looking back at a lot of people who turned their back on you, but now you're learning, you know what? It's okay for me to turn my back on toxicity and negativity. You don't have to hold on to things just because you're a good person and you're unconditional. Exactly. Three of Swords here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but this is Heartbreak, and this is a Six of Cups, but I did show it up in reverse. I don't read reversals, but that was very significant because I thought it was upright. Something about your past definitely had you heartbroken, and you're healing that. And this is the recent past, and for some of you, traumas when you were younger. You're healing it completely. Eight of Wands here, and Two of Pentacles. We have the Sun. Like I said, you're healing it completely. When the sun shines, it shines on everything here. Nothing gets missed. No shadow gets missed here. When the sun shines, this is Leo energy showing up on Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, but heavy on Capricorn. So this change coming in here and you juggling these changes is bringing you success, wish fulfillment, victory. This is a highly abundant card, and this is the most abundant card in tarot. The sun represents a new beginning, a purity within the mind, body, and spirit, and the sun is giving you downloads. Some of you, when you enter in the sun during the morning or the night, you get downloads. Or not the night, but when the sun's starting to set, you get a lot of downloads. Y'all are very tapped in. Highly, highly aware people here. Yeah, we got Pisces energy with Knight of Pentacles as well as Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But this is giving me Pisces and Capricorn here. Knight of Pentacles can also resonate with Pisces because it's a spiritually grounded knight. Someone who also takes their time and knows how to dip out when there's no nothing in it for them here. But you're coming in giving people the blessing because you are the blessing. Something that you waited on for a long time is coming in. And this is the Knight of Pentacles, meaning your abundance is here. It's creeping in slowly, but it's waiting on certain layers for you to unveil and lift up for yourself here. Because you still have up to three different layers of things you're still working through. And this goes for all of us here. Because Spirit is bringing us something brand new as we step into this new journey. You may have been called a fool, but you are not a fool for following God's... I heard God's practice, God's light, God's way. Knight of Pentacles here. That is your message today, my beautiful, gorgeous collective. I hope that this resonates. And if it doesn't, I'm going to be dropping readings for the rest of my life. I love y'all. Whenever I'm not living my life here, I'll be online helping y'all. I love you so much and I want to thank you for your subscriptions. Thank you for sticking with me. There's people that stick with me and then there's people that they get triggered by one thing and they leave right away. I'm not speaking to those people. I'm speaking to people who are committed, who are here to hear the truth from spirit i'm only a messenger from and for spirit that's it so if you have a problem with me you have a problem with my messages you have a problem with spirit because these messages i only get on guy they're guided by spirit here let's go ahead and tap out of that energy right and tap into future energies here any future energies from the angels if this resonates please like please comment and share this to your family. This is, I try and make sure, like I said, I watch my language. So if you're, I know a lot of people have messaged me, emailed me and texted me that they watch with their kids and their families. I wanna make sure I'm not giving that bad example here. I wanna show that yes, you can have spice, you can have zest, you can have a warrior mentality, you can be a beast, but you can also tame it. You can also control and regulate your emotions and thoughts here. 
So that should be an affirmation for y'all. I regulate my emotions. I regulate my thoughts with ease. Ashe. Angel warriors. Wow, out of all the literal cards in this angel deck here, I literally got and pulled with y'all. My favorite card in this deck is angel warriors. It says angels oversee your life and protect you. Not every card says this. I'll pull another one here. It literally says step into the unknown from the top of the deck here. It says curiosity keeps us heading down new paths. So take a chance. Take a chance on yourself to grow. Whatever spirit is showing you at this time, y'all better believe it. Because let me tell you, it's going to get more spiritually weird up in here. Not in this necessarily channel all the time but just in life you're going to start to see things unfold in a way like never before and you're going to start to trust that wow i've really been guided by the highest white light by the most high here by my angels because they oversee your life and protect you i'm speaking of warriors here look at this i'm rose warrior one and then they say the angel warriors are here Whew! angel warriors period i love y'all so much if you'd like to donate to my channel and you can't get a personal reading and you want to donate 25 cents, 50 cents, $50, $20, two bucks. It does not matter. It's just an energy exchange showing your gratitude as well as I show my gratitude regardless if I get anything in return because God provides for me and y'all help with giving me this beautiful energy and platform here to keep sharing what God is giving me for y'all. It's a big circle of life, a big circle of energy, and we're just reciprocating back and forth. I love you. Peace. Namaste.